It's an eye-watering amount to pay for fuel and prices are still rising. When the cost of living increases sharply and quickly, it can push people to the limit. It's hit them in the hip pocket seriously. So increased, increased fuel prices means that the money that they have left at the end of the day to go and purchase healthy food for their families and for themselves has been diminished. That capacity has just gone through the floor. Demand for Oz Harvest services in Canberra was already high during the pandemic. Now they're scrambling to keep up with this next challenge. Our demand has gone up probably about 30% in the last two years and I'm, I, I would have no hesitation to say it'll be another 10 to 15% over the next two or three months because it's an absolute tipping point. Oz Harvest spend a lot of time on the road themselves but are lucky to have a major sponsor that pays their petrol costs. But some small businesses are feeling the pinch. This one buys and sells building materials. Every day we drive around doing up to 1,000 to 1,500 kilometres a week. That adds up fast. Just the cost alone of extra 30 cents to the dollar uh, per litre of fuel just adds a lot of cost to things and it's extra things we have to think about when we're buying stuff and putting our costs in place. And it could also have a flow-on effect in the wider Canberra region as businesses look to rein in costs. We used to do a lot of driving to Sydney, um, out to Goulburn, to Moss Vale, to Yass, uh, all the surrounding suburbs of all the surrounding regions of Canberra. Um, now we're starting to hone in a little bit more on Canberra just while the fuel prices are up. With war in Europe continuing and some oil producers unwilling to increase production levels amid global demand, there's no relief in sight for customers. Isaac Naruzi, ABC News, Canberra.